Dumelang Sanbonani. Today we have a leader who needs no introduction. Most of you know him as Terra Lekota, and a president of COPE, and also a former struggle activist who was actively on the ground fighting for the liberation of this country. Today we'll touch base on his career and also on his trip to the Holy Land, Israel. For the past couple of years, most people have known you as uh, a diplomat, a political activist. But let's go back. I know that you were born in Crossstad in Free State. No, actually, I was born in Senegal in the in the Free State. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in, in Kronstadt because my parents uh, were staying there. Okay. Yes. And, uh, and I studied school there. And later on, uh, I went to boarding school in Matadiele in the in the Eastern uh, Cape. Yes. And from there I went to St. Francis College in Marion Hill in, in Durban. Okay. Then I, uh, when I finished my trip there, I went to the University of the North mm -hmm. and uh, enrolled there as a student for studying for a Bachelor of Degrees in, in Social Science and so on. Yes. It was during that time that uh, Abraham Tiro uh, who was uh, the president of the Student Representative Council uh, the year before, uh, was uh, given an opportunity when he was graduating to speak on behalf of the graduates and made a very powerful speech mm. uh, condemning apartheid uh, and so on. Yes. And uh, then he was expelled. That led to us arranging a uh, sit-in by the students and led to our, the expulsion of most of us, including myself and, and, and others. Uh, by this time, of course, we were now members of the South African Students' Organization, which had been formed in 1968 when we were doing metric at St. Francis College in uh, Marion Hill. Oh, is this the one with, uh, with Sasso? Is that the one with Sasso. Steve Biko? And yeah, others? that's right. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Steve Biko had been a student uh, earlier in, in St. Francis College, which is why they went to St. Francis College to start the South African Student Organization there. Oh, yes. Then, uh, so I, was, I continued uh, as, a, as a student, and when we were expelled from uh, the University of the North, uh, I went on to work full time for the South African Students Organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to, our offices were in Durban, uh, and uh, myself, Muntumiaza, and myself were the leading uh, executives of the South African Students at that time. Uh, development, of course, took their course, and uh, soon yes. enough, we got arrested and uh, to cut the long story short. Uh, we were be became uh, part of this uh, the Is that the the Sasso BPC uh, yes. trial first trial and so on, <coughs> which took us to Robben Island. Oh, is that is not the the Delmas one? It's the same thing. No, no, no. Yes, I, uh, we went to Robben Island uh, for the South African Students Organization BPC and all of that. Yes, then we came back. Mm -hmm. Then we formed the United Democratic Front. <laughs> you were busy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were very busy. Uh. Then I served, uh, I served uh, in the leadership uh, with others, uh, Popo Mulefe and others uh, mm. in the leadership of the United Democratic Front. Yes, yes, yes. And then um, it went on. We got arrested and went back to Delmas <laughs> and then back to Robben Island. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> So probably at this time, the state had already known that, hey, be careful of this young man. He's, <laughs> he's, he's busy on the ground. And yeah. you also, because when you go back, you spent 10 years in, in Robben Island. You've always made that. And you, you are very close to Nelson Mandela as well. Mm. You, yes. We can be more systematic because during my, fir uh, my first trial, mm -hmm. my first sentence, when we were, first went, mm -hmm. um, we were sentenced to 10 years, uh, part of the years of which we went together. Yes. In fact, eight years in all is what we f finished. Um, it was during that time that uh, we stayed with uh, President okay. Mandela in uh, Section B of Robben Island, which is 
where the, the old guys were, were locked up and so on. And we learned a lot from them, of course, mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the struggle and, and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, then when we were still on, on, on Robin Island, when, uh, it was, in fact, it was after one of the longest hunger strikes, mm -hmm. which, uh, hunger strikes which we had, because we were in, also inspired by the uh, the hunger strikes of the... Mm -hmm. In, in Europe, man, of the, I forget the, what yes. it's uh, were, were called, but after that hunger strike, President yes. Mandela and them Joint were taken to uh, mainland, mm -hmm. and then we were taken to Victor Ferster. Yes. Then we were released, <coughs> and uh, when we were released, uh, we formed the United Democratic Front, as, yes, I, um, yes, as I said. Yes. And then uh, at the end of that, <laughs> when I said we got arrested, yes. at the end of the of the Delmas mm -hmm. trial, yes. uh, we were sentenced that we had been in 13, in, no, 22 in all. Mm. And... Uh, yeah. So you 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 came out with a new South Africa I think when you uh, we were, were the leader of the UDF which was a very strong force during when the, the ANC leaders were arrested, uh, was the UDF also um uh, what I say a complementary to the ANC or it was basically an independent movement? No, the United Democratic Front was not a political organization in the sense that the ANC or the PAC and so on were, because yes. where all of the liberation uh, organizations mm -hmm. ha had been sentenced and were on, on Robin Island. But the United Democratic Front yes. was a broad church. Mm -hmm. It uh, carried quite a lot of people so from... So more of a civil society. Yeah, more of yeah, and civil, civil societies, uh, trade unions, oh. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And we... We were always uh, preaching uh, un unity of the people of South Africa, and we thought that uh, when freedom came, the liberation organizations would just become one, one, and then uh, the people of South Africa would, of course, just yeah. be one people, and uh, South Africa a uh, home to one. for all of us, and so on. Mm. To a very large extent, I think we we did managed to to bring large numbers of people together, mm -hmm. uh, including, by the way, whites. White South Africans were quite active in the U United Democratic Front. Mm -hmm. And uh, we defied apartheid because in even in the leadership of the United Democratic Front, yes. everybody was, was saving in it. <laughs> in it and, so, <laughs> and I think, I think well, honestly, I do think that the apartheid regime did not know now what to do. Because they had this unified voice of the people. Yes. Be, beyond race, beyond... Because yeah. uh, usually when we listen to the rhetoric of the struggle, we yeah. always hear it as if it's white against black or, you know, it's anti-white, anti-black. It's never <laughs> a movement where you said that there was, there was a movement where people were united now, both white and black towards, yeah. they are going to liberate South Africa, yeah. united as we are. Because today as we hear in the Delegota, and you said this in Parliament when you asked the question, "Who is our people?" Because South Africa belongs to all to those all who of live us. In it. Yes, yeah. And yeah. usually people will say, "No, no, no," but you can't can say white people are part of South Africa. Yeah, but the yeah, truth yeah, is yeah, that yeah, yeah, is yeah. the reality. Yeah, the, re had. the reality, of course, was that what, yes. what uh, most people don't realize is that in the closing years of the struggle, mm. <clears throat> well, from abroad, the ANC had. In his leadership already, people like uh, Joe Slovo and others were serving in the leadership of the NC. Yes. Here, in the United Democratic Front, there were many of us and many white uh, uh, comrades mm -hmm. were also serving in the leadership of the United uh, Demo 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 Democratic Front. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even as others were coming out of uh, out of prison yes. in the country, they were just joining into these uh, structures. Right. And, and the structures, some of them from the white communities, mm. also affiliated to the United Democratic mm. Apartheid regime suddenly had, had no lost power. Uh, it, it lost capacity mm -hmm. to sustain it, this it, thing. Mm. I I know that the women of South Africa who were fighting for freedom yes. were always locked up in Kronstadt. Actually, that had come 
from the 1913 women's struggles of of uh, of uh, the free state yes but uh, as uh, the struggle was closing in these years mm -hmm. even white women who were arrested in the underground for the African National Congress, yes. were sent to, to Kronstadt. Kronstadt was always the Robben Island of women. Ooh. Most people don't know that. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I you didn't you know myself from learning yet. No, no, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, Kronstadt was always the political home of mm. all women. Black mm. women were always locked up there. So now even the white women were also pu pushed up. on them. Mm. Now, Robben Island, of course, they, they kept us separate because the men were locked up here in Pretoria, mm -hmm. but African, colored, and Indian... And uh, some white uh, were thrown uh, across that. No, no. The men, the men were all on Robben Island. Yes. It was only the men there. Oh. And, uh, but white me men in the struggle were locked up in Pretoria here. They were not sent to Robben Island. Okay. okay. Yes. And... Um, Apartheid was everywhere, even in, in prison. Even the food we ate in jail, by the way. The food for the Africans were not the same food that the Indian and colored would eat. and whites were eating. Yeah, yes, it was. So they really, even tried to separate you based on what you eat. Yeah, say, that's right. This is for blacks, this yeah. is for whites, this is for... <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so probably for a black man, they will bring in what did you want or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it was like you know, that. Be because looking at the struggle and looking you rising up and saying, you know what, I fought for this struggle. Yeah. I fought for this country. But what I'm seeing today is not what I fought for. And you came with Congress of the People. Yeah. What was your conviction? Well, the remember that in 1955, Yes. Our people called this big meeting that was in Cape Town, mm -hmm. the Congress of the People, was the name of that meeting. Okay. It's not, we, we didn't create the word, the name Congress of the People. Yes. We only inherited it from people like Mrs. Susulu and all those women and men who were at Cape Town. They are the ones who drafted an, uh, the Freedom Chart. They yeah. are the ones who said, South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black mm. and white. Okay. Th those words don't come from us. Mm. They come from the people that were at the Congress of the People in Cape Town. Mm. And they said, that is the South Africa we are fighting for. Yes. But Helen Su uh, Joseph, mm -hmm. uh, no, Helen Joseph, and 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 and, the, and, 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 the, and those uh, all of the women. If you, if you look at the records and and see and look at the mm. people at the Congress of the People, you'll see that those are the women and men mm. Mm. who gave us the the words, the name Congress of the People. Yes. We just made co people, but we <laughs> yes are not the creators of this. With, Mm -hmm. We took it from history and we said, now that freedom has come, we are recognizing what our forebears yes. at the Congress of the People in Cape Town said. Bundati mm -hmm. Albert mm Tuli, -hmm. Dr. Morog, and all of these people that were there and so on. And who stood up and said, this yes. is the Congress yeah. of the People. Yeah. And then I also remember when you left, you were saying that the the ANC that I'm in, I saw fine, is no longer the same. Has had any has uh, what was the issues? Right there? Did you feel the ANC was no longer taking South Africa forward, or do you feel like it was more? What what is your view? Well, part of it was uh, was because uh, now there was uh, this theory that there must be BEE, -E, there must be something for the for the whites, something for the blacks, mm, mm, and, and mm. something. And, and we felt, but no, this is not the South Africa that we were inspired to fight for. The one which was fight was everybody. It belongs to all of us. We can't divide each other now that we have come to freedom. Mm, mm, now mm. you see now we will have special treatment for blacks to have more business and, and things like that. There were mm, mm, those mm. kind of issues. Yes, that we, yes. we said, no, we are, you are now taking us backwards. Yeah. 
You are taking us exactly where we come from. We were against apartheid. Now, this thing of now be, no, 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 we went, uh, blacks must go very fast and go up. But you can see that the problems that we are sitting with at the present time. Yeah, because clearly we have seen that even that uh, strategy of theirs has not necessarily benefited a lot of black people. Yes, it it's not. It's just mm, them yeah. actually and their small connections because poverty is still very much on the rise. We still have BEE, but we don't see it. Uh, tangibly changing lives of people on the ground. And I thought like this BEE plan, as much as it was, it has a good motive behind it to empower black people, is just not necessarily tangible on the ground and changing mm. lives. It, 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 the theory mm. suggested that this was good, the, the blacks must become rich very fast. The catch up, so. yes. But then it opened the road to, to a corruption of incredible proportions. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, and then and, and and actually now mm. actually took us backwards yes. opened up it's so sad when you look at some of the things mm. and you look at some of people taking huge amounts of money for themselves yes not what the children of the poor mm. can go to school and what not and people are becoming billionaires hey man and i'm you telling ask you yourself what but you know you are a leader you came here five years yes. ago, ten years later you're a billionaire yeah you're living in sunday yeah. or in some other something or other yeah. suburb it's, mm -hmm. it's a very sad issue but the telecota right now our country is at a point to where one would say cope is more relevant even now to unite our people beyond their racial differences because load shading is common to all of mm. us unemployment is common to all of us mm. as much as the black majority are the ones are struggling as well but also you still have the coloreds who are still struggling in this country mm. we still have the whites whom today have become more poor are even living in shacks mm. so do, we, we're looking at the future of south africa in 2024 coming up government of national unity as you did during the, 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 the apartheid era. Mm. Would you think is that what is needed right now? Some people they call it moonshot coalitions. Mm. Well, look, uh, at the moment we, we, we are discussing this issue of uh, coalition governments. Yes. And, uh, and um, we are opening a discussion. This morning, just this morning, I was talking to General uh, Holomisa about the mm. fact that it's very important that those of us in the opposition parties and so on mm -hmm. uh, must be heard. We can't leave this in the hands of the African National Congress just because they, the they are the majority party and so mm. on. Mm. We really need to move in the direction that mm. the Freedom Charter had predicted. Yes. That the people must, must govern. govern. Yes. yes. <coughs> the, we've got to do something about the voting. Mm -hmm. the legislation that has now been amended to have to intro introduce mm -hmm. uh, individuals uh, to the, uh, it's, it's still not exactly what it is it is not what we want we want it mm -hmm. it is not what we need yes. what we need is that people should be able to elect who they want mm, mm. and if those people who are elected do not do what the people want, want and when they look they see now these guys, guys are not doing what they should be able to recall them mm, mm, and then mm. they must be able to put who they want there so it doesn't matter what your color is what matters is what you do for the people yes yes are yes, you doing yes. what the people want mm, mm, are you mm. Eliminating poverty for black and white and everybody without mm. choice. No, yes. no, no, I want this white one. No, no, this one is it's got better eyes, blue eyes, mm -hmm. and this one has got black eyes. Also. No, we it's don't about, need that. Service, they provide a service. Yeah, we, water. Yes, mm. we mm. want, as in any other country that it does not have differences of that look at the americans mm. people used to think that uh, what the americans were doing was, was the best thing but now people are beginning to say even with the united states yes there's something that's been always wrong and we must still correct ourselves yes because human beings are but human beings mm -hmm. and what we really want mm. is 
life for all human beings. Yes. Whatever they are standing in society, however much they may be dark or light in complexion is mm. irrelevant. We need we to, need mm. to live as human beings with each other. Period. Thank you. I think that is very clear to say right now in South Africa, we do need that part to say, let's move away from our, our corners of race mm. and say, do I have electricity? Do I have this? My sewage yes, picked yes. up. Uh, yes. My sewage fixed. Yes. Is my, yes, my... Because that's what service delivering government must be doing. Are the roads clear? Do I have portals? There's their jobs in the country and get the best people to do their job than just to elect the politicians and they... I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that right now color qualifies you rather than your capabilities. That cannot be what the country should be built upon. But the look at that right now, just last week, Orlando Pirates yes. was sent to go and play in with against the Israeli team Maccabi Tel Aviv. Yes. And then there was an uproar from the ANC and the BDS movement saying that no, Pirates cannot go and play against the Israeli team. And I want to hear your views to say there is this hostile narrative, or what would you rather call it, uh, a foreign policy that is singling out Israel only as this apartheid state. And you have been there yourself. <laughs> yes. Your view? Sir, let me say this. One of the worst things mm. that one can do is to teach children that they must not play with each other because their color is not the same. Yes. Or because they are, the language they speak is not the same. Or because mm. they come from different countries. Mm. 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 You can, how do you do that? When you do that, what are you doing? Mm. Mm. You are planting seeds of hate. You are perpetuating hatred, mm. dislike for each other, etc., etc. You mm. are spreading in the whole world a terrible at attitude that mm. leads to all this, the atmosphere that you see nations fighting each other and so on. You do that. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the Congress of the people, mm. our people said, South Africa belongs to all who live in it. Yes. Black and white. Mm. But I want to be we want to be mm. part of a generation of men and women mm. who will be counted among those who announced to the world mm. 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 that all of us are nothing but human beings. All of us mm. deserve each other's love and respect. True. And all of us must work for that. So, when the young people playing in Orlando Pirate mm -hmm. and the young people playing in uh, Maccabi, Tel Aviv. Maccabi uh, mm -hmm. Tel Aviv, when they are encouraged to meet mm -hmm. in, around the game of, uh, of soccer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and kick the ball and run and so on, test each other's strength, and when they when they kick each other, they stand up and they shake hands and they go on kicking each other again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how it is. It's, 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 it's a it's sport. A it's, a, it's a sport. I played soccer myself in my day. Mm. You, mm. you know, it's a lovely sport. You do that. That is where we must teach human teach Start by teaching human beings. Unity. Teach at the youngest of age that you are nothing but human beings. Play with each other. Mm. Sure, mm. you can kick each, each other, jump and all of that. And when you have finished playing, shake hands, go and wash and mm. go. Instead of going to war and weapons and kill each other with a weapon, well, and to and what? And, you know, and then we make all these weapons and we can shoot this way and shoot the other way. Mm -hmm. Now, when we were in, uh, when we were on Robben Island and the, the leadership uh, uh, when I, I went to stay at, at, at B section at some point, B section was the section where prison Mandela and them used to live and so on. Mm. And then at some point, uh, the authorities thought that I was causing a lot of problems <laughs> in, in the other <laughs> thing. Then they, they sent me to, to that section and so on. Mm. So to go and play them, 
to stay to stay with them and so on. Yes. And the, the, these leaders were saying that you know, it's a very good thing mm. to that we, we we are able to live with each other and so on. And we don't want to be separated from each other, even with the Namibians. We mm. said no, we want to, st to live with everybody else. You yes, know? yes, yes. And uh, Toe Tove to to even came to was already staying with uh, Comrade Mandela and them there and so on. Now, when we had political discussions now, mm -hmm. we would differ. Yeah, you no, know, you, you could have uh, all of the mm -hmm. differ about this, and maybe I want to have a, a, a township called Langa, and I want a township <laughs> called <laughs> Soweto. And, well, you, you can have, give it the mm -hmm. name you want, and if the majority there that want the, way, the name you called move. that, they, they must have that name, mm -hmm. and then we can live and so on. But most important, was that they were saying the future of human beings cannot be that human beings will forever be killing each other. In the case of, for instance, uh, Israel and Palestine. And Palestine. Mm. You can't go on. Well, I mean, when will you stop killing each other, guys? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> when will the war stop? Oh, when will it stop? To mm. what end? I don't Because we, we, we can't find anywhere that God said we must kill each other. Yes, yes. He, 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 mm, we never mm, got an mm, order mm. like that. So now there was a very important development that, that happened uh, uh, at the time when uh, the leaders, two leaders, one from uh, the Jewish community, community and then uh, one from the Israelis. And then they, they said, no, we must have Let's have two states. You, yes, we, two state solution. And then stop fighting each other, man. We mm, can play mm, soccer. Mm. We can even box each other, but there are laws governing, you know, boxing and so on. Yes, it's a sport. Mm, mm. But we can play with each other. We can live with each other, mm. and we don't have to kill each other because how long? How we can fight. we go on like that? And it was a unique. Thing. The comrades said, "Look, I remember it was the the Oslo Accords actually. It led it led yes, to the Oslo, Oslo Accords, Accords where yes. they said, okay, we are going to have uh, the, the the Palestine state and the Jewish state.' That's right. And unfortunately, throughout the years, we didn't see that in coming to any fruition. Yes. And the, the war still continued. Yes. But then our surprise and that the quarter is that as the time progressed all of a sudden the history of our people of apartheid was cut and pasted into this war was that a right way or was that just a, a, a an attempt to politicize a war of um, centuries well there was an attempt i think at the time to to try and, and suggest that uh, like like what was happening in in the in in that in those areas mm. Uh, even here, we we can then we said no bloody ways. This cannot be done like that. It can't be. Mm, mm, mm. And and in fact, when these two leaders mm. began moving to agree on the two state solution, yes, we said that is something to be supported. Yes, the yes. leader said no. We it's got to be supported mm, because mm. that will stop the war. The two people can always compete in other things, yes. but it got to be. So when Orlando Pirates goes and plays with Maccabees, wh what do we have against uh, the Maccabees? What have they done to us? Mm. Why mm. should we mm. teach the children of Orlando mm. Mm. to mm. refuse and hate the children of... Uh, of the Jews or of yes, Israel? Yes, yes of Israel. Why do you, why mm. you do mm. that? Mm. 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 Let me tell you something interesting. I visited... Uh, Israel with some of the leaders, with uh, some of our leaders. Now, after I had come out of yes. uh, out of jail, now we were now governing and so on. Mm -hmm. I always had this idea that the the, the Jews, all the Jews, are, are in, in one the, corner, one corner, and the other side. Mm. Hey, <laughs> when we got there, we found that no man mm. in the parliament. In, there's Arabs there. There's Arabs in the heaven. <laughs> and they're even voting. <laughs> they are members of parliament. Yes. They are all sitting all of sitting sitting together. Mm. And mm. when we went across to the West Bank, yes. same thing. Mm. 
Mm. He, then I said, the leader, our leaders were correct. S- South Africa has been known across the continent as uh, the enemy of Israel. We, have, we also saw with the, the AU kicking out Israel from its court. And not only that, we also see that the Naledi Pandos of this world have been very quite vocal on their foreign policy against the state of Israel. More like you would say that Israel has been singled out because there are other human rights issues across the world, Iran, the issues of Ukraine as we speak now and all of that. Do you think that uh, Israel somehow has been singled out because for some reason the Jewish state? Or do you think it's uh, also an issue of hatred? The central issue about this whole thing, I don't want to deal with the bits and pieces of Israel did this and uh, that one did did that that. and so on. The point point about it is simply this, is that we will not solve the problem we cannot solve the problem by choosing a side. By choosing, by saying this one is better than that. If you are saying, mm-hmm. no, I don't want Israel, mm-hmm. who do you want? Mm-hmm. Because they found themselves there. This is, this is the, the homeland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they accept others, we accept others who are living mm-hmm. with them. And mm-hmm. even they themselves must must look at themselves and say, but are we doing right mm. by expelling uh, these guys from the West Bank from here if, we, if they do that? Mm, mm, mm. But I am saying that I, what I saw when I was there, mm-hmm. I saw members of parliament who, who's, who, who were part of the, mm, the Arabs. Arabs, the other side. Mm. And when I was there, I saw in there, people that were of Jewish extract who lived there in, mm, in the mm, West Bank. Mm, mm, now, mm. really, why do you want to say you must? these people must not live together? That, that why shouldn't the, they live together? Because why shouldn't they mm, appreciate each other? Mm, mm. Because we've had a problem is that with all the peace deals that have been offered by Israel uh, to the Palestinian leadership or to the Arab leadership, most of them they've always been seen as if they are going to be labeled as sellouts for giving in to the reality that the Jews are are indigenous to that land because most of them they call the Jews colonizers they call the Jews settlers so then the question then becomes to say will they be ever be peace because all of us know mostly Christians they will tell you that better to say we read about the story of the Jewish people in the Bible in that land it was king david who built jerusalem and the cities but then this there is still a view that jews are not in indigenous to that land so therefore they are speak of black suffering under the under the apartheid regime it is deeper than just uh, i know black and white it yes. goes down to 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 the depths of family setups you go yes. to the depths of the dignity of a black person, the respect of a black person. And that's why I always say that we must reject this idea that uh, Israel should be charged with apartheid, but yet it has members of parliament who are Arabs because yeah. it kind of dilutes the true apartheid that our people, that you yourself went to jail yes. for and fought against in this country. Yes. Look at South Africa right now. Uh, just a while ago, uh, we had the, the minister, no, the, the the experts, uh, water experts who came from Israel to come and lend a hand on how can we resolve water crisis in South Africa. Mm. But because of our foreign policy against Israel, this hostile foreign policy by Naledi Pando and the ANC government, what is your view on that foreign policy? Should we have an equal foreign policy or have those special ones only for Israel? Is it ideological, sir, or is it what exactly? Well, uh, you know, uh, under uh, President Mandela, we had uh, we took this position that we will have uh, diplomacy for both states. Yes. Yeah, and I think is the right road to go. Mm. That mm. is the road the road to go. I would I can never be persuaded. 
mm. that mm. it's better for this country to respect one or the other and not both. Mm. 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 Our contribution as South Africans, we must say, look, we overcame divisions amongst ourselves. Yes. We are one country. Mm. We want to support you. Yes to move in the same direction. Mm -hmm. I will not agree. Nobody, but nobody, can persuade me otherwise. Why is it so difficult that South Africa should pen continue and pursue a, a mediation process to say we are going to mediate between Israel and Palestine? The same way there was a, a delegation of African leaders going to Russia and Ukraine to mediate. Mm -hmm. Why is it that only the Jewish state has been singled out as a country not to be even talked about or even to visit. There is no way that, <clears throat> that anybody can convince me that they can be neutral when <laughs> Jews and, and, uh, and uh, Israelites mm. are fighting. Why mm. should you be neutral? Mm. Mm. Because mm. You, 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 you must be, you must say, look, you don't need to fight. Stop it. Unite. Unite and be one people, man. Mm, 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 Find mm. a way to live together. Yes. That I can't be neutral. I can't say, no, it's okay. Go on fighting. Rather mediate. Go yeah. in and yes, mediate. Yes, mm, mm. You cannot. You cannot do this, this thing. It cannot w be work like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, peace is what the world needs. Yes. Peace is what the world needs. And the Jews and uh, their neighbors yes. must find each other. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, we, we must insist that it's only as they live with each other that all of us can be at peace. True. It's only then that we will see. Because I always look at South Africa that it was not easy. But it was leaders like yourselves, Mandela's, mm. uh, the Mbekis of this time who came together and said, we are going to negotiate mm. and ensure that our people exist yes. and live together, together. in peace yes. and in harmony. Yes, and I always remember the speech of Nelson Mandela when he said that never again uh, shall it be that a person, but rather it shall be respected based on uh, the quality of your character, not the color of your skin. Yes, yes. And that is very important, looking at what is happening today in South Africa, in Africa as a whole. Israel has relations in over 44 African states. We have done a lot of water projects across the continent. Mm. And recently, they were also awarded or given the observatory status in the African Union. Yes. Your view, your thoughts? No, no, that I think is a very, very, a very good thing. Very mm -hmm. good thing. And it also gives them space to continue to show their goodwill mm. Uh, mm. to others. As long as they also show the same goodwill to their neighbors. Yes, yes. This yes. is very important. And their neighbors in turn. Show the goodwill to yes, them. Yes, sir. That's yes. That's what we want. It's not necessarily to push an idea that uh, we hate this one, so therefore cannot be here. I don't know. The once, mm, mm. once you push the idea that you hate somebody, mm -hmm. well, uh, you know. You have no no place in our <laughs> in this no place in our company. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I, I, I look at uh, a while ago we saw uh, Kenya, Uhuru was in Israel and uh, we saw a lot of African states, even Nigeria and other countries. Yeah. They are very quite friendly to Israel. Yes. They have ad adopted a dehyphenated yeah. position. They have taken a diplomatic solution that as Nelson Mandela did during your government. Yes. And through that relation, you are able then to see Africa rising and uh, working together, the Jewish state developing mm -hmm. their country. Yes, Israel being their partner of development in most African states. And I look at that and I, I say, but South Africa can also do that. Yeah, Even we can better, also do that, yes. You can mediate and find a position to say, mm -hmm. you know what, rather than us forcing a one-sided view, South Africa must rather be saying, Palestine, Israel, come to a table. Let's have an engagement than to push an anti-Israel or anti-whatever. Yeah, yes, yes, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense at all. Look, as we're about to wrap up in the telecorder, the NDP... National Development Plan, I'm sure you, you were part yes. of that. 
uh, we have seen that we have not really achieved a lot uh, to, to this day. Uh, we still have water crisis in Mafikeng. Mm. We still have a crisis uh, in, even here in Hamaska, people are dying of cholera. And we have always said that uh, many in Israel, as people will know, is a desert. But they've managed to make that desert bloom today uh, with verges and agricultural projects. It's doing very well in the Middle East. I saw it when I was there. And, and it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a wonderful thing to see. And looking at such expertise and looking at South Africa relations and Israel, do you think that there is more to gain from having a friendly, not even a friendly, a, dip, a, a stronger diplomatic ties with the, the Jewish state? There is a lot, a lot to gain from that. Mm. You see, you see, my brother. Look now, with all these problems we are having with water and, and all of that. Yes, we are going to have to send a lot of our young people mm. Mm. to a country like that. Yes, for them to go and learn how to get the water from the oceans. Look at the oceans that are surrounding. Mm. There's a lot of mm. water there. Yes, but the art of how to get that water. Get the rid of the desalinated, mm -hmm. and then make it available to the people. Yes. Even if it means you have to, sometimes there are drought, droughts. Yes. And there's a, a PE is just next to the ocean. Mm. There's mm. a shortage mm. of water in PE continuously. But yet they're next to water. It has <laughs> huge <laughs> amounts. Mm. Send a lot of young people to Israel to go and learn the art, mm. 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 Of education how, mm. of how to get this water out, mm. sort it out, and let the people uh, thrive. This war has been taking place for over centuries. And why would it only become apartheid now? Mm. We should be rather going towards a point to say, let's unite these people and let's look beyond our ideological differences. But you know, I was in Israel, my brother. Mm. You won't see Jews, non-Jews, like mm -hmm. you used to see in apartheid, you see blankets, yes. knee blankets, mm, you know. Mm, mm, mm. You won't see anything like There's no buses that are, these buses are for... For Jews. For Jews, these ones are for... Mm. The, there's other tribes, by Arabs, the way, uh, Arabs and other things. Now, mm. you have all of that. Everybody gets into a bus. If you get into a bus in Israel, you, mm -hmm. you go wherever you are going, you... You yes. get off if you want to do that. Mm. So you won't see apartheid. There. There's even no schools. apartheid. Even mm. schools. Mm. You know, what mm. do you do now? Because mm. 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 I remember even now, I told the, the Miss uh, Israel pageant was a, was a black Ethiopian woman. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, but guys, even now, the, 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 the gold medalist now is a black Ethiopian guy. Yeah, and that. I'm asking myself, but even I remember last week we, we spoke about this, that even the, the leader of the biggest bank in Israel is an Arab. <laughs> the highest judge in Israel is an Arab. He serves in the constitutional court, in the Supreme Court. Yeah. So I ask myself, you know what, this thing is malicious and you're misleading people of South Africa. Yeah, and South Africa should be going towards a point whereby yes. they mediate yes. towards this. And as we are about to wrap up, 2024 is coming next year. Yeah. And um, your message to the people of South Africa, uh, how, what can we expect from COPE? And uh, how, how, how is the future looking like? Well, look, we are going to to be working very hard to in, in these uh, coming elections, mm. because uh, I think that it, 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 our, our people must begin to understand mm. that the generations that are are, be, are being born today, yes, they are the ones who are going to understand some of the things that we are saying, mm. Mm. and they are going to correct all of these things yes. steadily. But mm. this country will become a better country. Mm. The dream that our forebears spoke about at the Congress of the People in '55 yes. is not a, a dream Fuck. that's going to die. Mm. It's a mm. dream that's going to, still going to happen. It's going to come. And leaders like yourself who stood up and changed the fabric of society. Today we have access to such. Today, as young people of this country, we have access to 
education of, of higher quality. We have access to a lot of things that we have usually deprived. Mm, yeah, so if it was not people like yourselves, and even now in this generation, if they won't raise any people or any boys and girls of your conviction, we can say we need to change South Africa yeah, and make it better. Yeah. Because people like yourselves, as you said, they were saying, I'm a terror. <laughs> But you stood up, yes. you fought, and at the end of the day, they could only say, but man, and man, keep me a gaja. So, that I got a terra, Rale Bohantati. Thank you. We, we, I, I must say that your, your heart for this nation is very inspiring. Your yeah. fight yes. uh, for this country to become a better place for all, for all races, all people to live together in peace and in harmony. It's what that Nelson Mandela pushed us to do in this hey country. Man, and unfortunately, after his death, he came in the narratives, came in these woke cultures yes. that are dividing our people further. Yeah, yeah. And we hope that with our generation, we will rise up and fill in your shoes to unite this country and make it a rainbow nation that was in phases to be to say we shall grow this country black white indian colored together to make it a beautiful nation in the southern of africa yes. so yes. and Thanks a lot, man. and Thanks i get to you. you will come to israel again no no i will i will, I will definitely I will. <laughs> <laughs> no Thanks.